Kool-Aid man's at the Wacky Factory making Kool-Aid Cool Pops. He throws the switch a little too far, and things go wacky. The wrappers get mixed up. The colors get mixed up. The flavors get mixed up. We'll call them Wacky Berry Bars and put some in each pack of Cool Pops and Cream Pops. But how will anyone know which color is which flavor or which wrapper goes with which color? We'll put a wacky decoder in to figure out which bar is which and how many extra wacky warehouse points are on the back. Kool-Aid Cool Pops frozen drink bars with Wacky Berry Bars. Wacky Wild Fun from the freezer. Joey, where you going? I'm walking bubbles, Mom. I'm bubble, bubble, bubbles. I'm coming. Keep here. I'm bubble, blowing bubbles. Bubbles, bubble. Every time I walk in, she starts blowing bubbles. Hey, way to blow, bubbles. I give a little touch, and bubbles stop to stay. Hey, puppy. Let's go. Bubble, bubble, bubbles. She's blowing more bubbles. I'm bubble, bubble, bubbles. Bubbles, bubble, 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 bubble. 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 Bubbles, the pup from play school. Batteries and bubble solution not included. Kids can't resist being washed by the lucky charms, so I'll make them invisible. And me, too. No more lucky charms. What do we do? Yes, all will be lucky charms and they'll reappear. Well, there's pink hearts. Orange stars. Yellow moons. Green clover. Blue diamonds. Purple horseshoes. And red balloons. Hmm. With lucky charms together again. It's a magical part of our complete breakfast. Perfect. Right you are. Lucky. Cross the lucky charms. They're magically delicious. It's time for Mr. Bogus to come out and play. He's wild. Wild. He's cool. Cool. He's bogus. He's a secret friend and he loves to play. It's that awesome, bogacious, bogus time of day. <laughs> Mr. Bogus, come on, let's play. Together, dolls each sold separately. Back to our show. Mr. Bogus. Attention shoppers. Come see His Majesty King Rootin' Tootin', ancient king of the Emerald Isle. And you can find out about the curse of the little leprechaun ghost that protects his emerald jewels. I think I'll try this perfume. Mmm, smells nice. A very romantic <laughs> fragrance. Huh? <laughs> oh, pretty lady. <laughs> 
is dangerous. What if we wake up that leprechaun ghost? No, oh, don't be a doofus. There's no such things as leprechauns. Now let's get them emeralds. Do it, the boogies. No like baddie guys. Do it, do not the boogies. Stop burglars. Being cat burglars. Huh? We ain't beat yet, Butch, because I got this big magnet. <laughs> we can lift the crown off without laying a finger on it. <laughs> you get thinking. Now, bang! It went in the music department. Come on. Go to the boogies, keep eye on cat burglars. <laughs> what? I'll look for the magnet, and you keep an eye out for that leprechaun. Oh, he's just making fun of me. Leprechauns are real smart and real small. They could be hiding anywhere. <laughs> Afraid of no mouse? I'll get you, you little rodent. What? Oh, the door, Amy. Woogie 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 woogie. Huh? Whoa! 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 Yeah! Whoa! 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 Boogie's got the beat. Boom! 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 Got you! Whoa! Boogie's got the final touch. Whoa! Ah! <laughs> you Boogie's maestro, too. <laughs> huh? Come out and face me, mouse to man. Oh, come to the button, get a double thing. Ready? Forget about being modern day robbing hoods and be brain sturgeons or something easy. Don't be ridiculous. You gotta have at least a sixth grade education to do that. Besides, just a little lower and that emerald is ours. Yeah, I just hope that leprechaun doesn't get mad. Well, you pipe down with that leprechaun stuff. Huh? What are you tapping me for now? I didn't tap you, Jack. Yeah, well, don't do it again. Oh. <laughs> Boogie's got a live one. <laughs> don't tell me you didn't tap me that time. I didn't, Jake, I swear. Well, then who did, Einstein? That mannequin? That's right. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Boogie's throw voice. <clears throat> Green sparkle is not yours. <laughs> Green sparkle is not yours. Uh, this place is haunted. We gotta get out of the crime business. Maybe we ought to be certified public accountants. Forget it, Dunderhead. You gotta be able to count to be an accountant. <laughs> <laughs> 
boys no like burger burglars. <laughs> was a totally bogus idea. <laughs> That's me, totally bogus. Hey. We put this key in it, but trying to open up the box and turn it around and... <laughs> Cabin Cam and check out my wacky summer vacation slide. Wouldn't it be cool to have the cabin on our vacation? There's one in each specially marked box of Cabin Crunch cereal. Uh, 
Boogie's love toys. Oh, time to play. <laughs> Boogie's open door. Huh? Oh, what are we gonna do? We have to be right our way up there, man. Aha! Oh, but it's <laughs> Lift up. <laughs> Whoa! Boogie's flying. <laughs> Playtime! Turn it on! Turn it around! Looks like a good time. What do you say, party rats? Let's party! So, that little yellow runt and his puny puppy are here, too. What do you say we do a little party crashing, fellas? <laughs> Whoa! Hey! Whoa! You okay, wise toy? Put up dookies. Left and the right, left and the... Whoa! Whoa! Thank you. Yeah, ride them, pussy. No, my name is Batty Betty. I don't like you. Wow, yay! Oh yeah. Hello, my name is Batty Betty, and I. <laughs> Job for Boom Boom Boogies! Woohoo! What are we gonna see? What are we gonna look at over there? Oh, we're gonna take a ticket! Oh, we're gonna bring it in for the end! Shut! Woo! It's a deck ride! Go boom! Incoming! Bullseye! We're gonna get that puny pint-sized punk! Cause this rat man's got a rat plan! Now here's what we gotta do. First, get over there. Do what are we gonna do? Oh, I spy! Oh, going down! Okay, rats. 
Ready? Move it out. Hey, where'd those doporados go? Boogie's <laughs> <laughs> <Bogus> bag rat. <laughs> I'm out of here. <laughs> The ratty big chicken. <laughs> Whoa! Yeah! Oh, yay for bogus! <laughs> yay for bogus! Whoa! Moochie, moochie, yeah! Once upon a time, in a beautiful land, was a beautiful castle. <laughs> Inside, there was a beautiful dragon. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, oh, oh. Take that, take that. Whoa, whoa. The bogus at your service. <laughs> Mad scientist bogus. Check it out. Follow me. Hmm. What we got here? Oh, <laughs> I know I should drink milk, because it'll help me grow up big and strong. Milk's got stuff that's good for my bones and stuff that's good for my muscles. I guess that's okay, but I'm more interested in having fun. That's what makes milk so neat. You can drink a lot of it, and it tastes cool, so it can be a real pick-me-up. Milk, it does the body good. Catch my name, it's General G, and I'm looking everywhere for my honey, you see. Speaking of honey, it's time for the Honey Sweet Crunch of Honey Nut Cheerios. There's more than likes in that Honey Sweet Crunch. Ooh. I grab a ball, because we love it a bunch. And it's all part of this complete breakfast. I love these Honey Nut Cheerios, but guess what, kids? I gotta go! It's the Honey Sweet Crunch you love a bunch. Bunch, bunch, bunch. It's Honey Nut Cheerios. MPC, the Micro Machines video channel. We've got drivers, classic chromos, and x rays right here. If you're looking around for a new set of wheels, we got classic chromos, shiny bumpers, and grills. And x rays, you can see the engine too. Micro Machines, more styles for you. You can check out these drivers with someone inside. Real looking dudes at the wheel for a passenger feel. Micro Machines, drivers, x rays, and classic chromos vehicle packs, each sold separately from Galoob. Drinking my quince. Quince. 
squints. Five times more fun, they drink their bottle four or five, and the fun's begun. They drink and wet, just like real babies do. Then their magic diaper show numbers for you. Now there are quints who really drink in wet. With magic diapers that show five numbers when they're wet. I love taking care of all of you. Drinking wet quints was special for five magic diapers, bottle and hamper. Other accessories sold separately. In another dimension, another time and space. A parallel universe is falling on its face. When out of the chaos, who else could it be? But the animal adventurers from SPACE! Biting for a time for my secret bait bond. Ready for some fruity pebbles with cherry, orange, and groovy grape flavor. Yeah, that would be delicious. Yeah, but seven it looks like a monster, Brick. It is a monster. <laughs> Wow. Fruity and Cocoa Pebble cereals. They're yabba dabba delicious. Want to see my dinosaur change color? Takes only 10 seconds. Cool. Five different color changing dinosaurs. One free and specially marked boxes of pebbles. Uh oh, a dirty type baby. Uh oh, I give her a bottle and then. Baby, uh oh, needs her diaper changed again. Baby, uh oh, gets her diapers dirty. You rinse them clean with warm water. Oh, clean. Baby, Want to walk. The baby doll that crawls and walks. Each sold separately, batteries not included. And now back to that miserable rodent, Bucky O'Hare! Mission accomplished, oh mighty complex. The beginning of your brilliant scheme has begun. Spill you spilled in a bucket. You dopey award slime toad ship. But what be that other hunk of crackling flotsam? Fry me ions if it ain't time to find out. Preparing for immediate return to... Huh? Something on radar. A toad croaker. One of the mangy mammals' ships. But it's just drifting. With no pilot. Where could... <laughs> you slippery wart bulb! Since the stealthy approach of old dead eye, did ya? Now, what manner of space trash do you be littering out there? Not talking, huh? We'll see about that, you ghastly green fly sucker! This be dead I call him the righteous indignation! Captured me a slimy one canvas, painting a suspicious picture. Orders? Tie the prisoner up, dead eye, and haul him in. Aye, aye, Captain O'Hare. But with what? So improvise, dead eye, improvise. Aye, aye, Captain, over and out. In <laughs> Has anyone interrogated the prisoner, Jenny? We've been waiting for you, Bucky. Well, let's get some answers. You can try, sir, but I warn you, he's kind of tongue-tied. Very resourceful, Dead Eye. <laughs> you said improvise, Captain, so I did! So you did. Now untie him, Dead Eye, so he can talk. 
Aye, aye, Captain. All right, Toad. What was your purpose in invading this sector? Well, answer me. I can't, but Toad's all left and numb. What? I think he said he can't, Bucky. His tongue's all limp and numb. Oh, it's probably asleep. Try waking it up. The great work, Mother, be praised. I was starting to think I'd never flick another fly. You can talk now. <laughs> That's right, Furball, but I won't. You can do anything. Torture me, tempt me with fly speck fondue, tie me up with my own tongue again, but nothing can make me divulge the purpose of my secret mission. Yo, Bruiser! Bruiser? <coughs> yeah, Captain. What do you want? All right, I'll talk. Just keep, keep, keep him away. Complex sent me here on a secret mission to insert a reconnaissance satellite with a protective force field so we'd know if you were planning any secret attacks. But if I'd known you had a berserker baboon to throw at me, I never would have done it. Pack that disgusting thing back in the prisoner's mouth and toss them both in the brig. We've got some serious pondering to do. Welcome to another presentation of Tadpole Tales with today's tale of horror and mutant transformation, The Frog Prince. Brought to you by Wartina Ponscom Additive. Stay sharp, fricks and fracks. I've been called for an audience with Mighty Complex himself. The defense of Complex. Of me, Air Marshal, is always Toadbog's responsibility, Air Marshal. But with Toadbog temporarily preoccupied, I'm entrusting that supreme honor to you. I am honored. Progress Report 9. Computer monitor on the Fritz. Assuming possible interference from a photon accelerator, will now attempt to adjust. Recently lost a toad spy, Air Marshal, but not before he launched a scheme which will ultimately result in our total conquest of every mammal with eyes or ears by piggybacking two TV signals on accelerated photons. Wow, a scene from the Anniverse. And, and what will this do, almighty complex? I don't like it, crew. What if it's all a toad trick? Mm, in which case, what could it be? It is a toad trick. And that thing you're talking about is actually a TV receiver transmitter satellite. Every screen within its range can be converted into a nasty device which literally drains the brainwaves of the viewers. Even worse, the brainwaves will be altered to a frequency of total obedience before being sent back to the heads of their owners. Are you sure, Willie? Absolutely. I heard Complex tell Toad Air Marshal the whole plan. Hurry it up with those flea bitten fur coats and get ready for take one. The satellite is already in place. Complex is waiting. Diabolical weapon ever created. This is worse. Most diabolical weapon ever created. No, it's not. It's just dumb. Junk. Presentation. Nightmare. Please. Brought to you by Joshi. Thank you, Willie. You you saved our lives. Or at least our sanity. Yeah, but how'd you do that, Willie? Well. Not being native to this dimension, I guess my brainwave patterns are immune to the hypnotic frequency of the TV signals. Mm. But the rest of us are in big trouble unless this thing is stopped. To think the I horror is going on right, right now. Jiffy Lick Whisker Cleaner for Cleaner Whiskers in a Jiff of a Lick. And there we were, I say, back to bristling back. Bucky and me, comrades in arms we were from way back. <laughs> Captain Bucky O'Hare to Commander Dogstar. Come in, Dogstar. Hey, Bucky? Bucky O'Hare? Here aboard the frigate Indefatigable? 
not yet, Commander. I strongly suggest you deactivate all video and computer screens immediately following my message and before approaching this sector. Hey, what? Uh, approach that sector? Deactivate all screens? But why? Uh, I say, why? It's a long story, Doc Star, but I intend to penetrate complex and I need your help. Jenny will assume command in my absence. And remember, I want everyone to give Willie full cooperation in taking out that satellite. Bucky, may the magic of this protective gem be yours to call on when you most need it. Remember, all TV video is hereby canceled for the duration. Farewell, crew. And once we've accumulated the mammal brainwaves and altered them to total obedience, alarms. Move there, Marshal. Get to the defense command station on the double. Y yes, sir, almighty complex. What is it? Immediate status report. Uh, false alarm, Air Marshal. What we got us here is just your common, ordinary, everyday stray meteorite situation. Posing no threat whatsoever. We'll at least use it for target practice, you said it! Sorry, like a days ago, excuse for a toad! We've got to stay sharper than ever in this defense command stage! Wait, what's that out there? That's no mere stray meteorite! It's... it's a... a mammalian ship! Daring to approach mighty complex itself! Send out the defense armada! Scorch that brazen ship to molten cinders and curled fire! Our decoy tactic is working as planned, boys. Uh, or is that a dirt? No, 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 it's them! Now, get to your stations and give them what for? You heard the commander! Shake, please! And so the valiant battle is once again drawn. Now we can only hope and pray that the courageous Captain O'Hare gets it. This is complex. <laughs> Ready when ye be, Jenny girl. Then fire at will, Jedi. Those were the righteous indignation's best shots, Jenny girl. I know, Jedi. It appears the satellite's completely impervious. But we've got to crack it. Every minute we delay, more and more brainwaves are being siphoned off. The Toads are our friends, our warty-fighting friends. We must not resist them. Silly, silly, silly. We must welcome Toads with very open arms. The, the Toads are our friends, our warty-fighting friends. We must not resist them. Silly, silly, silly. We must welcome Toads with very open arms. I wish I could find my way out of this maze. These blank walls are getting downright boring. On second thought, better boring than lethal. A dead end? O'Hare to the righteous indignation. Anything to report, Jenny? No luck yet, Bucky. But Willie's trying to cobble something together to crack the satellite's force field. How's your progress, Bucky? Uh, blood to discuss it with you, Jen. But I just got real busy. 
uh, hiya, gizmos. Just who might you be? We are units of Virus Defense Squad, defending Complex by feeding on all unauthorized intruders of sentient composition. I suppose you're wondering just who I might be. You are unauthorized intruder of sentient composition. You are lunch. <laughs> one of three different surprises and is sold separately. Use ice even warm water with first treat. This is the Micro Machines video channel. These are the super carriers. Super carriers with super play. Pop down the cargo bay. Drive it out, load it up. Super carriers, super stuff. Micro Machines super carriers each sold separately with one vehicle. We've got a smash hit coming away. Micro Machines smash up. Look out. Smash up, smash. Put the smash in sound. Smashing every single round. Smash up. Machine smash up each sold separately from the lube. Three, two, one. Hey there, sports dudes. In baseball tonight, Grand Slam and Rap slammed a hit. Unfortunately, the ball didn't go anywhere because it was attached to a pole. In football, TD Toss and Leo's making sure the foot aren't having a ball. In basketball, Slam Dunk and Don's becoming a real basket case. And in wrestling, we find Shell Slam and Mike pinned by his python. More Sewer Sports All-Stars coming up, but now a word from our sponsor. Teenage Mutant sold separately from Playmates. Keeps the rivers clean. They're better than you've ever seen. Care Bears care around the world. You know, new Care Bears. We love them so. New Love a Lot Bear, Friend Bear, and Cheer Bear. Each sold separately. And now, back to Bucky O'Hare. So I'm lunch, am I? Well, wrap your molars around this, bolt head! Wait. What's this on the security map? An unauthorized intruder within complex, eliminating the virus defense squad. Security breach. Intruder approaching inner sanctum. All toads to my defense. They're turning tail, lads! Orders, Commander Dogstar! Uh, 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 yes, orders! Can't conduct an effective campaign without orders, can you? Uh, why, uh... What are the orders, sir? Uh, what? What are they? Have you taken leave of your extraordinary senses, Wolf? Use their tails as fuses, of course, and light them! Yes, sir! Out there, you fools. I wonder if anybody ever told them they had big mouths. Finally, my opportunity for the other means, for the ultimate defense, the ultimate onslaught. Toad TV. <laughs> As the work turns. What's in a web lubricant for healthy between your toes connective tissue? Got my very own maggot farm absolutely free and you can too! Puppy trail to me! He chooses a free wood for this par for Croco. Just love a toad with warts. He knows how to. Monthly subscription to Warts Illustrated! Hey, it's from genuinely. Over that mesa, for that sense of feel moist and warm. Return you to as the work turns. I think fresh slice that nothing. Next selection from the Poker Tabernacle Live. Resurrection Live on Hubbin!
Ah, Toad Morg. The new Toad Mammal TV transmissions are finally running smoothly, oh mighty complex. May I be of further service? All is well in hand, loyal Toad Morg. In fact, you're just in time to see yes, the final defeat of Bucky O'Hare. <laughs> Mighty complex, with your permission, I shall prepare the brain drain for obedience frequency conversion. It is time. By all means, do so. The stolen psychic energy of the entire mammal populace, oh mighty complex, in our control. The subscription to magic, Jim. And if this isn't the moment... When I most need it, I'll never make it to the next moment. Jenny, as the war turns, it's working. Next selection. Hold steady here, Dead Eye. We should be within my interference emitter's range. But will it work, baby? Won't know till we try it. But here it goes something. I hope. <laughs> it worked, matey! Now won't Dead Eye can blast that satellite to space cinders! Not yet, Dead Eye. If we destroy the satellite now, there'll be no way for the stolen brainwaves to get back to their owners. Uh, point taken, Willy Lad. It'll all be up to Bucky now. Some sort of electronic sensor? Another five minutes, oh mighty complex, and the accumulation of brain waves will be complete. We can then convert the waves to obedience and transmit them back. Excellent, Toad Borg. Soon the entire universe shall be ours. The Walmart complex, it's dead! What? But who can have? Over here, you planet-sized wart! Bucky O'Hare! Still sentient? Destroy him, Toad Protect your complex! Stop him, Toad Protect the brain drain! Protect me! No more bravado, O'Hare. Nothing to say now. Not a word, you tin-plated mud scupper. Mud scupper? No metal. Me a mud scupper. Stop! The brain waves haven't been converted yet. The brain waves. They're being sent back to their owners. Bucky did it. <laughs> What's that? Where am I? Oh, what a nightmare. Feel like I've been subjected to nine months of quail speeches. Bucky O'Hare to the righteous indignation. Smack that satellite when ready. <laughs> this one be for you, Captain O'Hare. <laughs> Mission accomplished, zippers, zippers. Yep. That Bucky O'Hare, he done went to town. That evil old complex, he shut right down. <laughs> All right! Thanks, crew. I just regret not pulling the plug on complex. Uh, <laughs> that bit was unthinkable, Captain. At least you short-circuited him for a while. And you destroyed his brain drain, Buck. That was the crucial objective. I guess you're right. Well, now that the excitement's all over with, let's see what's on the TV! Let's not.
hurry it up! At this rate, it'll take a week to get Complex back online. No Toad TV for a week? Don't go away! There's still more neat stuff ahead on Fuck You Hair! Two of a kind, the twins are two of a kind. The twins, together they giggle. As long as they're together, they're feeling just fine. But if they're separated, not doing things the same. Their giggling turns to crying, and that's a crying shame. The twins laugh when together, cry when apart, or without pacifier, and love doing things the same. The twins, batteries not included, from Irwin. Look at me, I'm walking. Look at me, I'm walking. She walks all by herself. Look at me, I'm walking. She's mommy's big girl now. Walk, walk, wanna walk, a baby wanna walk. Seems like only yesterday she was crawling. She still likes to crawl, but she really loves to walk. Look at me, I'm walking. She makes me so proud. Walk to mommy, sweetie. Walk, walk, wanna walk, a baby wanna walk. Baby wanna walk, the only baby doll that crawls and walks. You like my new pooch? His name is Sarge. He's the strongest dog around. Oh, yeah? Spotty's the cutest. Well, Scooter likes make him the fastest. He's always on guard, ready for anything. It's Pooch Patrol. Nine original, lovable pooches that stand on guard for every girl and boy, each sold separately. <laughs> pooch Patrol. Hey, what's all the noise up there? It's a grand toy. The pirates of dark water. Come, board the mighty race. Armed for battle with a boulder-hurling catapult, a power blast harpoon, and a mainsail glider. The race, part of the pirates of dark water, sold separately. The WWF ring is all action. Dry out the ring ropes with elbow smashes. Punish your opponent with drop kicks. The WWF ring ropes have spring action for furious flying tackles. And they're great for tying up opponents. The WWF ring comes with flag and championship belt. And now, back to Fuck Your Hair and the Toe Horn. Hey kids, don't miss the Bluegrass Special on the wonderful world of Disney. This afternoon at 3, right here on TV 12. Chaos, who else could it be? But the animal adventurers from SPACE. Bucky, Captain Bucky O'Hare. Mutants and aliens and toads beware. You're looking for adventure, well this is it. With Teddy, Dead Eye, Blinky, and Willie to win. And then Bucky, Captain Bucky O'Hare. Bucky O'Hare on the Toad War. In the battle of the universe, you don't know what's next. You only know amphibians and made it complex. Sunday afternoon at 2, only on KBOS TV 12. Look at those cute babies. Cabbage Patch Kids babies and preemies. These preemies need a mommy. And these babies have adorable outfits. Meet Katie Lee. My name's Katie, too. Babies smell so sweet. Mmm, like baby powder. What's her name? Emily Jean. She's a preemie. She's got blue eyes, like you. That's my kid. That's my Cabbage Patch Kids. Xavier Roberts Cabbage Patch Kids babies and preemies. Each sold separately with a birth certificate. Accessories sold separately, too. It was a typical summer day. Three kids in search of fun. But as they stepped through this doorway, they entered into the battle zone of the future. A world where high-tech weaponry would determine their fate. The world of Laser Pro 9000. Warning, beware of incoming fire. Laser Pro 9000 each sold separately. Scanning hit counter. Firing light. Pulsating hit indicator. With Laser Pro 9000, the boys were victorious. The weapon of the future. The sport of the 90s. From Gloob. Look at me, I'm walking. Look at me, I'm walking. She walks all by herself. Look at me, I'm walking. She's mommy's big girl now. Walk, walk, wanna walk, a baby wanna walk. Seems like only yesterday she was crawling. She still likes to crawl, but she really loves to walk. Look at me, I'm walking. She makes me so proud. Walk to mommy, sweetie. Walk, walk, wanna walk, a baby wanna walk. Baby wanna walk, the only baby doll that crawls and walks. Weather view now. Looking at today's forecast in the west, I see Edmonton's high today will be only minus 11 Celsius with mostly sunny skies. Portland will be cloudy in 48, while San Francisco basks in 74 degrees sunshine, as does Phoenix at 78. Mostly cloudy Denver's high will be a frigid 19 degrees, while partly cloudy Salt Lake City registers at 37. 
In Vancouver, we'll have increasing afternoon clouds with a high of 8 Celsius. Brought to you by United Buy and Sell Furniture Warehouse. Brand name furniture and mattresses for less. A lot less. Michael's Prime is slam time. Pro stars. Show stars. Rain's hot. Slam shot. Bo knows where to go. Stars. It's all about helping kids. Bo knows cartoons. Yeah. Don't worry. Pro Stars on the way. Hi, I'm Bo Jackson. Hi, I'm Wayne Gretzky. And we're, and we're the, the Pro, Pro Stars. Stars. Yeah, if people don't pull together, they can fall apart. Remember, there's no I in team. That's one thing I like about sports. You have to work together. If my line don't block for me, I get nailed. You know what I'm talking about? Same with hockey. You know assists are just as important as goals. Don't worry. Pro Stars on the way. Pro Stars will return after these messages. presents the World Travel Adventure Week 2. You can join Crayola, the Burger King kids, as they travel to far-off places. Discover new faces. You can collect a different travel kit each week when you buy a Kids Club meal. You never know who you'll run into. The Burger King Kids Club, just for fun, just for you. We now return to Pro Star. Hi, Pro Stars. I'm Tommy. My grandfather and I live in a great co-op. You know, an apartment house. Hey, that's Pops Robertson. He was one of the best high school basketball coaches ever. But this guy, Polly Sledger, wants to buy us out and knock down the co-op. No one wants to move, and Pops has all the tenants organized just like one of his old teams. But Polly plays pretty rough, and I'm getting scared. Hey, this sounds serious. Let's do it! Pro Stars! <laughs> I, I know I left that super gadget stuff in here somewhere. Mr. Gretzky, we could use a little teamwork over here. Yeah, yeah, in a minute. I got just a couple more adjustments to make on Pro Star 1. Wayne, are you sure you don't want any help? Uh, I got it all under control. Ouch! Wayne, uh, are you okay? Uh, no problem. Uh, oh, I could have sworn that jacket was around here somewhere. Is this what you're looking for, Mom? Denise, darling, you're a lifesaver. Uh, I think that's a lifesaver, Mom. Whatever. So, where did Michael and Bo go? Aha, uh -huh. there you are. Michael Bubble, try this on. 
Oh, nice tailoring, Mom, but not exactly my colors, you know what I mean? Colors, mamas! This jacket was designed for action, not fashion. Go ahead, pull the tabs on the pockets. <laughs> Maybe Mom should have said, pull the tabs on the pocket pockets. Oh, oh, they provide an excellent lift enhancement, but how does one get down? Don't worry, Michael. The rockets burn out really fast. What the? <laughs> okay, so next time your rockets poop out, use your parachute hood. Uh, like this? I said next time! Okay, guys, I'm ready. Ready for what? Ready to demonstrate our new snowmaking attachment, and I'm proud to say, even though Denise gave me the plans, I installed it myself, with five screws left over, I might add. Oh, uh, Wayne, I hate to say it, but you put it on upside down. Oh. And backwards. What are you, a perfectionist? Denise! How do you shut this thing off? Hey, look what's down there! A, a snowman! Ooh, when the weatherman said it would be colder today, he wasn't kidding. Okay, pro bros, we're getting close. There it is! The hot dog stand! How convenient. It's where we're supposed to meet Tommy and Pops. Pro stars! We thought you'd be hungry from your trip, so we got you some hot dogs! <laughs> Oh, thanks, Tommy. But what about the other guys? Wayne. Don't worry, I've got more. <laughs> I want to thank you guys for coming to help, but I don't know how much longer we can hold out against that land shark, Polly. Truer words were never spoken, old man. That building will be mine. Smoker, this is Polly. Grab the old guy. Oh, and make sure you don't get any mustard on your coat. You know how I hate cleaning bills. Uh, gotcha, boss. Yuck, I hate sloppiness. It's so, so sloppy. Okay, it's smoke time. Hey, Pops, heads up! <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> Pops vanished. No, he didn't. Look! Come on, old That guy's grabbed him! Gentlemen, it's game time. Stars. Meet me in the deli car. This works much better on ice. Well, the leadoff man's on base. What we need now is a perfectly placed sacrifice fly to divert that train off the main line. While for Michael, it's air time. Wayne, I'm on my way. Wow, you guys are amazing. We're pro stars. There's my landing strip. <laughs> bro, bro, what's wrong? I don't like heights, especially when they're moving. I get the point. Just give me your hand. Can I open them yet? Well, it would speed things up. Huh? Hey, there they are. That guy's gonna do some time in the old penalty box for this. You gotta catch me first. Oh. Oh. Make sure Pops is okay. I'll put the full court press on that felon. I suggest you give up quietly and save yourself a lot of embarrassment. Come and get me! My pleasure. Huh? Sorry, String Bean! Haul me in, boss! Forget it, you fumble brain fool. You didn't get pops, and you did get mustard on your coat. So suffer. All right, listen up. Pop says he recognized the guy in the chopper. Yeah, it was Polly Sludger. He played basketball for me in high school. And he's the one who's trying to knock down our homes. Twenty years ago, I kicked Polly off the high school team because he was a bad sport. And it doesn't look like he's changed one bit. So, Polly tried to buy you and the other tenants out? Yeah, and when that didn't work, he sent thugs from his company, Toxic Disposers. They scared some of the people into leaving. But the rest of us are going to stick together no matter what, right? Right, team? Come on, folks. We've always worked together before. We're a team. We've just got to pull together. We'll save our homes yet. Come on, people. Come on.
Come on, listen to me, please. Oh, man. If Pops Robertson can't inspire his teammates, then they haven't got a chance. Okay, time's up. I can't wait no longer. I need that co-op. And if they won't let me buy them out, then I'll have to force them out. Tearing down that building is the only way I can patch into the sewer system without being caught. That old co-op isn't monitored by the city, and that's important, since I got a few million gallons of toxic waste to dispose of. For a very nice fee, I might add. But what about those pro stars, boss? Uh, if those gym rats even think about stopping us, we'll roll over them just like we're gonna roll over that co-op. Oh, and Smoker, clean up the driveway before you leave. After all, we don't want to mess up our own property. Yeah, just everybody else's, boss. <laughs> all right! Nice shot, Tiffany. Hey, Bo, Michael, you guys want to play? Sure. Wait, I've got Bo. Yeah, well, as long as hey. Tiffany and I have the ball, that's fine with me. Michael Jordan and Bo Jackson on my home court, and I can't even see a thing. But if I were up there, I'd have the best seats in the house. Going somewhere? <laughs> I guess not. Tiffany, catch. Atta girl, Tiffany. <laughs> John Paxson couldn't have done it any better. Sorry, Bo. I'm just no good. Maybe I should quit. Hey, Joey, no one's perfect right away. It takes practice. He's not lying. Bo knows that Michael couldn't even make his high school basketball team the first time out. You mean if I don't give up, I might get better? You got it, buddy. Then let's play ball! Perfect. The co-op's deserted, boss. Everyone's outside watching those pro schmoes play basketball. Uh. Time to set a nice little warning fire. Absolutely, boss. Nothing like a little smoke to scare out some stubborn tenants. Well, that's that. Let's get out of here. Boy, this is some view of the game. <laughs> oh, no! Pro Stars, help! The roof's on fire! Help! It's Tommy! Pro Stars will return after these messages. Kraft Macaroni and Cheese introduces Teddy Bears and Dynamax. It's prehistoric Oni. In a world gone dino -roni. Now it's total bear bop Oni. Take the disc with Tony. Baboo! It's Kraft Cheesy Macaroni. It's new Kraft Teddy Bears and Dynamax. They're more fun than a bowl full of monkeys. Monkeys! It's a cheese or a surfer boy bear -oni. It'll tickle your funny bony. <laughs> it's new crab teddy bears and dynamacaroni. Listen to the crunch. The apple crunch is so good to munch is part of this complete breakfast. The apple crunch. In a bowl of And now you can listen to the guys next door. With your free cassette single when you redeem a coupon for marked boxes of Apple Cinnamon Cheerios at any Music Land or Sam Goody store. Sounds like an offer that's made for you. Water pets, water pets, ooh, wow, wow, water pets, water pets, water pets, love getting water when they jump in the water. They don't need a boat, cause wow, wow, water pets love to fly. And water pets are fun in and out of the tub. Yep. Water Pets. Each sold separately from Play School. Hi, I'm Rex. And I'm Rita Soros. We're here at the library where boys and girls and their families are having fun with reading. Yeah. We now return to Pro Star. He's trapped! I'll get him. Unfortunately, I don't think my pocket rockets will take me all the way up. Bo, come on, I have an idea. Michael, this is no time for a nap! Bo, you may know sleeping, but Michael knows leaping! The man can jump! 
Ooh, now I know how my hamster feels. I think it's time for a little Pro Star Power. Uh oh, I still need more boost. I'm on my way, Tommy. Over here, Michael. Stay cool, little money. Uh, the Pro Stars are on the way. Are you all right? Uh huh. Then let's go. Go where? We're trapped. Not even close. We have a friend in high places. It's snowing. Who made it do that? <laughs> Wayne Gretzky, hockey player slash firefighter at your service. Wow, that's cool. But how are we going to get down? I suggest we try a little improvised sledding. <laughs> <laughs> this is great. Except, how are we going to stop? Wow. Wow. Teamwork, Tommy. Teamwork. Oh, but Pops, you can't give up and move out. Everyone looks up to you. If you go, it's all over. I'm sorry, Michael, but it doesn't look like anyone else really wants to fight Polly anymore, so why should I try to force them to? But, Grandpa, if you give up and sell your share to Polly, it's going to give him majority control of the co-op, which means he can legally tear down our homes. Pops. There's something you always said to your high school basketball players. Even if your team lets you down, you can't give up on your team. That was basketball, Michael. This is real life. But that's why we can't let you lose. <laughs> now you're talking, Pops. Hey, come on, don't feel so bad. You never had a chance. Okay, game's over, Pro Stars. You lose. My record crew is gonna level this dump. It's over. We lost. Come on, Tommy. I haven't heard the final buzzer yet. You're right, Michael. Pops taught all of us at the co-op to work together like a team. And just because the going got tough, that's no reason to quit. Come on, do it for Pops. All right. I'm gonna go get everybody. Meanwhile, it's time to take high-level diplomacy to a higher level. <laughs> Smoker, my scheme's working perfectly. Now that I control the co-op, I can knock it down legally and use its super sewer input to pump my illegal toxic waste to the sea. <laughs> and since it's an unmonitored line... I'll be getting rich by polluting the environment, and I'll be getting away with it scot-free. Yeah. That's a no-no. In fact, it's a felony. <laughs> what? What are you, a lawyer? Hey, get this guy off my helicopter. Whoa! Time to hit the silk! Mom's silk parachute, that is. So glad you could drop in. Gentlemen, it turns out that Pauly Sludger plans to use the co-op as an illegal dump site. Now, I'm going back, but I suggest you two visit the courthouse. Check. We'll get a judge to slap a restraining order on Pauly and his scheme so fast, it'll make his head spin. Whoa! Uh-oh. Uh I may be overreacting, but I think we've got some trouble. Now I know we've got trouble, and if I don't do something fast, there won't be any co-op for the restraining order to save. Pro Star One, Bo here. It's Michael. Call Mom and have her get the restraining order. We've got big trouble, and we need you guys back. I'll organize the tenants and try to hold the record crew off. We're on our way. Okay, you know what to do. Tear that messy co-op down. Flatten it completely. So my toxic waste trucks can have access to the sewer connection. Now roll out. Here they come. Turn on the water. All right, everybody. Michael said to keep building up the barricade. But we went out of things to build them with. 
Well then, use your furniture. After all, if we don't stop Polly from wrecking our homes, what good is a couch? Oh, yeah, yeah that's right, Tommy. Yeah, 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 yeah. Tommy, I couldn't have given a better halftime speech myself. Pops, you're still here. You bet I'm here. I just needed a little encouragement, and you gave it to me. Here, hey, use this table in the barricade. Ooh. After all, if you folks are too crazy to know when you're licked, who am I to say you're wrong? As of now, I'm back on the team. All right! Thanks, Pop! Okay, kids, go get them! Oh, no. I don't suppose someone forgot to pay the water bill. Michael, huh? look! Oh, I love days like this. Oh, Michael, what are we gonna do? Just keep up the good work, Tommy. The Pro Stars will be here. Hang on, everyone! Here we come! <laughs> nice going, great one. Yes! <laughs> I've been practicing my hook shot for some reason. Excuse me, we got company. Eat dirt, pro stars. Oh, no. Everybody out. All right. Now we got them where we want them. Excuse me? Well, now that they're mad, they've forgotten all about tearing down the co-op because they're coming after us. Follow me. <laughs> I got you now, you miserable, irritating fleas. Whoa! This is worse than getting cross-checked in the playoffs! Whoa! Skates, don't fail me now! It's game time! The great one aces it again. Oops. Uh, <gasps> double oops. Ah! Bo knows fishing, and that monster was over the limit. It's always handy to have friends in high places. Oof. Wayne! Up here! Got you, Michael! I'm on my way! So, there you are, Mr. Super Pro Star. <laughs> well, now it's my turn to slam dunk you! What's up, Michael? Turn around. We don't want Polly to see that we're on to his final attack. Are you ready, Bo? Ready! <sighs> I'm driving for the Who Pro Stars, and this time, it's in your face! Tom, it's game time. <laughs> oh, 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 no! <laughs> oh. Now I'm all dirty! <laughs> Now that's what I call teamwork. Yes! Hey, good riddance to toxic rubbish. You know, boys, when I told the judge how Mr. Sludger was dumping toxic waste, his honor said he was going to throw him up and lock away the key. Huh? All right already. I think he meant he was going to lock Polly up and do his throwing with the key. <laughs> Whatever. Pro stars! I'm happy to say that teamwork does apply, not only to sports, but to real life as well. I'll always be grateful to you for reminding me of that. And now, as our own way of saying thanks, we'd like to present you with... Ah, Uh-oh, uh -oh. it's meal time! <laughs> My name's Jeffrey. Do you got any brothers and sisters? I got three brothers and one sister, two of which play hockey, and um, my sister doesn't. I have four brothers and five sisters. Small family. I'm the eighth of 10. I have a younger brother and sister under me. Hi, I'm Sean Simmons. I'm 11 years old. 
Where's your favorite place to go on vacation? Anywhere where I'm not recognized. Once I find it, I won't let anybody know. Pro Stars will return after these messages. Hey, get that back! Mouse trouble? Then you need mouse trap! Mouse trap! I guarantee it's the craziest trap you'll ever see. The first to capture everyone else's mouse is the winner! Just turn the crank and snap the plank and boot the marble right down the chute. Now watch it roll and hit the pole and knock the ball in the rubber up tub. Which hits the man into the pan. The trap is set. Here comes the net! Ouch! Mouse trap! I guarantee it's the craziest trap you'll ever see. I, I knew you were a winner! Mouse trap from Milton Bradley. Doctor, my belly aches. You got butterflies in your stomach. You got a jolly horse. Operation. A broken heart of corn. Operation. The whitest crime is true. Operation. And I'm the doctor for you. Operation. Remove the pieces and collect your fee, but don't touch the sides. <laughs> Water on the knee. Operation. Out another fee. Operation. A bare rib or two. Operation. I'm the doctor for you. Next, please. Operation from Milton Bradley. We now return to Pro Star. on the wall and you're feeling scared and small call the pooch patrol when big brother plays a trick you'll get rid of him quick with the pooch patrol don't let those cute faces fool you with a flip of the lip the pooch patrol goes from friendly to fearless keep your sister out make her scream and shout you're protected by the pooch patrol pooch patrol from tonka each sold separately Last time, the honey nut bee was changed into a donkey. Uh, Will the wits change him back? Not while I'm eating my complete breakfast with honey nut Cheerios. Please change me back. Not until you give me another bowl. Now, let's see, you were a bee. <laughs> no, a bee that flies. No, a honey bee. Oh, a gummy bee. Now you can get free gummy bees in specially marked boxes of honey nut Cheerios. Take it easy in that slate board, Freddy. Be careful. You too, Dad. Don't forget to sing a song of seatbelt safety. Huh? Oh, yeah. The seatbelt connected to the frame zone. The lap strap goes across the hip bone. The shoulder strap angles or the chest bone. So hear the words of the law. Those belts, those bones, those seatbelts. For safety's sake, wear seatbelts. I'll properly wear seatbelts and heed the words of the law. Sometimes kids have to remind grown-ups. Yabba dabba buckle up. Strike! Hey! 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 Hey!
We're ferociously in fun. Rattling wrestlers. Yay! Four ferocious feet of sneaky, snaky fun. Snake on. Snake bite. Snake bite. Snake bite. Snake bite. Rattling wrestlers with Snapjaw and Rattletail. He sold separately. Golden sweet, honey cheeks. Good to make the fun to eat. That's why we all love our honey gold. See that thing? Here is one. See those kids go much, much, much. We all love the things that honey gold. Well, it should come as no surprise. Gives up every safe inside. Love what honey gold provides. That safe and honey safe they pride. Honey, 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 honey. Open wide. Come and Yeah. The weirdest place in the universe faces its worst enemy, deadly television producers. Scripts is a myth. All new Eerie Hour, NBC Sunday. Jill went up the hill to fetch a pail of Diet Cola. <laughs> no, that's not it. And Grimmy, Grimmy Sugar Paws, could you turn the TV down, please? Your mom is creating poetry for the ages. <laughs> Carl the Wonder Poodle is my hero. He can do anything. If only I had a smidgen of his bravery, his skill, his paycheck. I'd give anything to be like Carl the Wonder Poodle. There's not a moment to spare. We have to get this medicine to the hospital at the top of the mountain. You're mad. The copter can't fly in this weather, and all the roads are out. No human being could possibly get there in time. No human, but I know who can. This is a job for Grimmy the Wonderman. Grimmy, we're counting on you. If this medicine isn't to the hospital in three minutes and 18 seconds, hundreds of children will perish. A dog can't get there in time. Remy the Wonder Mutt is no ordinary dog. Come on, let's monitor his progress on the rover radar. He'll never get across that river. Our river won't stop Remy the Wonder Mutt. He'll build a bridge. <laughs> He'll 
you'll never get through the avalanche. An avalanche won't stop Grimmy the Wonder Mutt. He'll build a snowplow. But it won't do any good. Dr. Fenstermacher has just suffered an attack of the Zebenkleiden. Well, that's it. Dr. Fenstermacher was the only one who could administer the medicine. Mutt will stop Remy the Wonder Mutt. He'll perform a quadruple Zebenkleiden bypass. <laughs> Bark. Sponge. Bark. Large clam. Bark? Oh, sorry. Small clam. Ah, Grimmy. I never felt better in my life. That new Zabin Cliven you installed is great, and you saved hundreds of children, and you shoveled off our front walk. Tell me, how do you do it all? Oh, hey, it's all in a day's work for Grimmy the Wonder Mutt. really nothing. No, 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 don't thank me. No, 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 no more awards. I have plenty. The Congressional Medal of Honor? Again? No, no. It's, it's too much. I'd give anything to be like Carl the Wonder Poodle. In fact, I'd give anything just to meet Carl the Wonder Poodle. Friend, would you like to meet Carl the Wonder Poodle? Woo! Carl the Wonder Poodle will be appearing in person at the Bijou Theater this very afternoon. This afternoon? Yes, this afternoon. So come on down, meet Carl the Wonder Poodle, and get his paw print in your autograph book. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Did I remember to thank you? Um, Jack and Jill went up the hill to fetch a pail of hot apple cider sprinkled with cinnamon. <laughs> no. Come on, come on, come on. We've got to get down to the theater. He's there, he's there. Let's call a cab. Let's charter a bus. We'll take a cab to the bus. I'll carry you, or you carry me, or we'll both carry each other, but please, let's go. Creamy, stop. I can't leave now. Oh, please, 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 please. I'm a desperate puppy. This may be my only chance ever to meet my hero. Aw, uh, this is my precious, precious little puppy. Wanna go someplace, snooky wooky? I'll tell you how desperate I am. I'll even let you talk to me like that. Just let's go! Oh! Grimmy, I can't go anywhere. I have to finish my poem. Such a pail of liverwurst. <laughs> no, it's silly. Why would anyone fetch a pail of liverwurst? Go ahead. Deny me my dream. Trample on my little puppy's heart. See if I care. You think I care? I don't care. Oh, I care, I care, I care! I must meet my hero! Grimmy, whatever it is, this is no! Attila, you don't even know what I want you to do yet! You're right. I'm sorry. That was most unfair of me. What is it? I want you to come down to the theater with me and help me meet my idol, Carl the Wonder Poodle. Goodbye. Now the answer is no! Grimmy! I said no! Well, if you ever know that word to stop me. Really? I think there's a rule that they don't allow dogs in movie theaters. Oh, they never enforce those rules. Hey, no dogs allowed in the theater? Ah! Just my luck to get a stickler for rules. Hmm? Let's go home, Grimmy. Not until I meet Carl the Wonder Poodle. Don't worry, Attila. They won't try that hard to keep me out. That's right. A yellow dog trying to get into the theater. I am on my way. Dog, wherever you are, it is all over. When this dog catcher comes after you, you will lose. Come on, do you have any suggestions? Giving up? I mean, besides that. I can't give up. My hero is in there signing autographs. I've got to get in there and meet Carl the Wonder Poodle. Oh, I know. I'll wait here for you. I know how to get past that guard. Hey, don't you know we have a rule here? No dogs allowed. I know. So, what do you have to say about that? <clears throat> Meow? 
using alternate routes. However, I have caught you, dog. Don't think I don't appreciate it. Bye-bye. I will catch you, dog. I know. I'll find Carl the Wonder Poodle. He'll protect me from Robo Dog Catcher there. I wonder where Carl the Wonder Poodle is appearing. Your attention, police. Due to illness, Carl the Wonder Poodle will not be able to appear today. Due to illness? You'll not escape me, dog. I have to get rid of this clown and find out what's wrong with my hero. Hey, just feel lucky I didn't add hot buttery flavoring. Hmm, needs a little salt. Popcorn did not save you, dog. Hey, Carl's in here. This is the projection room. Dog? Dog, I will find you. Wherever you go, wherever you hide. There you are, dog. I have you now. I found Carl the Wonder Poodle's dressing room. This is the guy I've always wanted to be. He's brave. He's strong. He's a girl. Carl's short for Carla. But you're, you're, you're a lady. But, but Carl the Wonder Poodle is a guy, but you're not a guy, you're... And you, all those incredible stunts and feats. Oh, come on. You don't think a male dog could do all that, do you? All the great dog TV stars are female. But I, I... You'll I, keep my secret, won't you? Sure, but I... I have come for you, dog. <laughs> oh, the cute little puppies. They are so sweet. If they do not have licenses, I must take them in. Don't you touch my baby, sir. Wait! Good idea. Uh, oh, no. It is Carl the Vanda Poodle. Oh, no. I'm sorry. Mr. Vanda Poodle, I shall be going. I will not catch another dog. I'm so sorry. This is great. I have to get away from this dog. Darling, say those words to me. The words that I have longed to hear from a strong, handsome man. Help! The poodle is after me. Help! Help! Hey, would you break that screen? What you gonna pay for that? <laughs> Carl, I, I mean, Carla, you're still my hero. I, I mean, my heroine. Well, maybe we could share a bowl of kibble someday. See ya. And Remy, what happened? Did you get to meet Carl the Wonder Poodle? Better than that. I think I have a date with that poodle. Uh, I'm never gonna figure that dog out. 
traveling toys like Doc's Barking DeLorean or Vern's Zooming Junkmobile. One with every Happy Meal you buy. There's no time like the present to go back to the future. So first, the mean and nasty wolf blew down the house made of straw. And then he blew down the house made of sticks. And then when he came after me, I was too smart for him. Help, help, wolf after me, help. Because you built your house of bricks? What? It was a security condominium with an alarm system, motion detectors, and an armed patrol response. Oh, yeah. And it had huff and puff proof aluminum siding. You can't keep me out, big. I tried the subtle approach to get rid of them. <laughs> Boy, that sounded like such a good idea for a minute there. Go away, wolf. Go far, far away. I'll get you, pig. I'll get you if it's the last thing I ever do. And so the rotten, reprehensible wolf ran away and hasn't been seen since. So the wolf's still out there somewhere. Still out there, searching for the last of the three little pigs, which means me. Well, I wouldn't be afraid of any old wolf. You know, if that old wolf came around here, you know what I'd do? Grimmy. <laughs> You'd leap 30 feet into the goldfish bowl? Yes. That's what I would do. Uh, listen, Grimmy, dear, I know you love your pet, but we have to be going. We have to go over to a party at Miss Muffet's house. Mommy Goose, no one else is home. So? So you can't leave me all alone, especially by myself. Ham, dear Ham, we'll only be gone for a few hours. What if the wolf comes to the door? Lassie can protect you. What's the fish gonna do, blow bubbles at him? Oh, don't worry. You'll be safe and sound until we return. Bye-bye. I hope you're sorry when you come home and I'm a sausage muffin. I'm alone. I'm all alone. So I'm alone. What's the big deal? Lots of people are alone at times. Millions of them. Maybe we could start a club. We could rent a meeting hall and all be alone together. Huh? There's nothing to worry about. There's... What's that noise? It's the wolf. I'd know those footsteps anywhere. Oh, it's the faucet dripping. Uh, I knew it all along. It, it's just the faucet dripping. It's just... Ah! Oh, no. Help, help, mommy goose. 
puppet lousy. First of all, she makes you sit on those lousy puppets. Why doesn't she get some real furniture? And does she serve cheese dip and corn puffs like the normal hostess? No. It's curds and whey, curds and whey, always curds and whey. That's why I'm bringing her a pie. Yeah. Now, make sure nothing happens to the pie, Grimmy, you. Grimmy, you ate the pie. Well, you didn't say not to. Oh, please, and go home. Just go home. They should put warning labels on those things. Oh, well, I got out of a boring day at the Muffin House, and I got a free pie. <laughs> Not bad. Whoopee!
can't fool me, wolves. I'm too smart for you. Ha ha ha. I'll go and get the newspaper and look for a new place for us all to live. I'm not going to take this lying down. You couldn't. We have no more furniture. What's the meaning of this? The police are here. I'm safe. We had a report about a lot of furniture being thrown around out here, so I decided to come out and investigate myself. Mr. Police Chief, Mr. Police Chief, these are all wolves in disguise. Arrest them. Arrest them for being wolves and for impersonating dogs and cats and mommy geese. Uh, Chief, uh, he's a little confused. He's a lot confused. It's all right, I understand. Uh, Mr. Pig, how about if I take you into protective custody? Oh, boy. You mean old wolves will never get me because I have protection now. So there. Boy, it must be neat being a police chief. Do you arrest a lot of people? Do you have a badge? Did you ever meet Clint Eastwood? Well, uh, let's go into our house. What's left of it? I'm making out a shopping list of what I need to buy. Everything. There. Well, at least Ham didn't toss my trusty magic mirror out the window. Magic mirror, be a dearie. Say something sweet to make me cheery. <laughs> oh, it's you. Lay a compliment on me, Classy. I've had a bad day. Mother Goose, you look like a wonder of the world. <laughs> well, thank you. The ruins of the Coliseum. That mirror. When are you gonna learn that nothing gets by me? Some powers of observation. You couldn't even recognize a wolf in a clever plastic police chief costume. Wolf in a clever plastic police chief costume? Oh no! Agree with me, and Tilda. No. Wasn't the chief of police? That was the wolf in a clever plastic disguise. A wolf in sheep's clothing? There's only one thing to do. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Magic mirror. How do I get to the wolf's house? Uh, what do I look like? The auto club? Avery Avenue, third condo on the left. <laughs> Thanks, mirror. To the rescue. What a great rescue party. A dog, a cat, and an elderly goose. Can I ride in your squad car? Do you have to pay for your donut? Can you ever arrest anyone named Al? Can you fix a parking ticket? Do you? Hey, this isn't a police station. The wolf! You fell for my clever plastic police chief disguise! Ha ha!
ice skin. Hey, guys! Do you see what I see? Wow! I'm so stupid! I got it! Burger King kids clothes just for fun and just for you. Spent a thousand hours on my domain means. Multiplied X and Y by threes. And now it's time for companies. I love I really want to have a purchase please. We're dreaming of little pretty puppies, litter and grow. It's fun to play with you. Little pretty puppies, wow. babies too. Yay. Have beautiful hair that grows for you. Little pretty puppies, litter and grow. We can comb the pretty hair. Litter and grow puppies, kitties too. You're the best pet anywhere. Little pretty glitter and grow puppies and kitties, each sold separately. New from Mattel. for some fresh air and sunshine. This day is about as fresh as my great aunt Lily, and she's petrified. I guess there isn't much sunshine either. Shop, 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 Come to think of it, there isn't even much of a park. No wonder there aren't as many birds as there used to be. Uh-oh. of the extraterrestrial kind. Try the periodontal kind. We're choosing up sides for football club one. Wanna be on my team? You want me on your team? I'm not just talking to hear my teeth chatter. I've never been picked to be on anybody's team. It's... it's like some beautiful dream. Quarterback? Me? Quarterback? This is getting 
getting better all the time. I've never played team sports before. What do I do? Just say hike. Hike? <laughs> Nobody really want a weenie like you on their team. Nova came for brains. <laughs> I think I've had a close encounter of the worst kind. You know, the trouble with contact sports is there's so much contact. Are you through having fun? I'm ready to go. I wish there was some grass in the park. Then maybe the ground wouldn't be so hard. You mean you play that brutal game on grass? That's cruel and unvegetable punishment. At least they weren't wearing cleats like real football players. Cleats! Ooh! Don't say any more. You're giving me a harder joke. It's a good thing I never told him about lawnmowers. Last week you wanted to be oh, oh, a refrigerator repairman. Oh, two weeks ago, oh, a fireman. So why now, whoa, a shoe salesman? Just a little bit more, Daddy. I have to polish my sales technique. So do you oh, oh, have to polish with your oh, bronze baby shoes? Now, how does that feel, sir? Oh, like I just stuck my foot in a trash compactor. Oh. Perhaps you need more tow room. Oh, more room? Oh, I need a whole house. Hi, Audrey. Oh. Could I interest you in a pair of shoes, sir? <laughs> I'm trying out for an after-school job selling shoes at the U Shoe Store. Providing select shoppers with the finest in previously owned footwear. How about football shoes with cleats? Was that you, Seymour? <coughs> yeah. My voice must be changing. Finally. We carry the largest selection of professional strength cleats on Skid Row. Isn't this positively orthopedic? Do you realize that without shoe salesmen, we'd all have to go around barefoot? <laughs> You have to admire her enthusiasm. I'm gonna lie down before I fall down. Can I give you a hand, Mr. Mushnick? A hand I got. What I need is a new foot. You ready to go buy some shoes? Shoes? What for? For your feet, Seymour. Make like lettuce and use your head. If you want to play football, you need a pair of shoes with cleats, like the real players wear. But I don't want to play football. Oh. I want to see you try on shoes. Besides, you know who's going to be there to help you try them on. Audrey? If she's selling your shoes, she'll have to pay attention to you. At least to your feet. Remember, the customer's always Mr. Right. I'll do it. Beautiful pair of orthopedics worn only on Sundays by a little old lady from Pasadena. How about taking them for a test walk? Oh, Mr. Sullivan, I'm so excited. I'm tongue-tied. I can't wait to finish boot camp and become one of your foot soldiers. Right now, Miss Mushnick, right here at our store, I'm going to demonstrate my really big shoe-selling technique. Before I bring out my next customer... I'd like you to try on a really, really, really big shoe. All right, you cleatheads, listen up. You're through breaking the lawn in this town. From now on, stay off of my turf. Grab them by the tongue and their souls will follow. And now, right here in our sky, it's the one and only... Footwear Blimp. This is your pilot, Colonel Blimp, inviting you to the biggest football game of the year, the used shoe store Retread Bowl, this afternoon at the Mildewland Stadium. A football game? I've got to nip that in the bud. Somehow. Hmm. Natural rubber soles. Oh, yeah. That's a really, really big air shoe. Makes you really proud to say, I'm in used shoes. Where's Seymour? I thought the customer was always right here. I figured out the answer to your problem. Which one? Football. What does a piece of crud zoo like Kane have that you don't? 
size and speed? No, meathead. Good shoe. Stop, look, and listen. Cause you're ready to run, but you gotta get some shoes. You know, put them on your feet. Funky fresh kicks for a funky fresh beat. Yeah, I think you need some uh, high tops. Some high class kicking boots. When you're sporting some slacks, you can wear some uh, dino skin boots. Yeah, you gotta get some shoes so you can stroll through the park. Get to get you some titties so you can sneak. Yo, through the dark. Yeah. I like that part. Shoes for your feet to make you complete. I gotta get some shoes to make you feel the beat. And when the beat is pumping, you gotta get stomping. And with shoes, you can get stupid shoes. Yeah, I like that. Shoes. Shoes. Yeah, I like that. Shoes. Shoes. Yeah, I like that. Shoes. Shoes. Yeah, I like that. And like I said before, you need some shoes. the footwear of your dreams. PDQ Winger, the only wing tip with wing tip. I'm back, Mr. Mushnick. My life is complete. What's wrong with your feet? There's nothing wrong with my feet. I'm wearing new shoes. Well, you and your new shoes deliver these flowers to the used wedding chapel. It's the building with all the rice on the steps, halfway between the Lonely Hearts Club and the divorce court. Right away, Mr. Mushnick. Yeah! Seymour! I bet I can ride a lot faster in these new shoes. Of course, I could be wrong. What's wrong with your feet, Quillborn? I'm wearing new shoes. PDQ wingers. Let them fly under bite. Nice shoes, cavity head. You're so fast now, you don't even need a bike. <laughs> I guess I can use it for a paperweight. Cad mm. Zooks! How am I gonna deliver these flowers? See me. I can help you get to where those flowers want to go. How? Grab your socks, say hello to the sky, cause these happy shoes can really fly. You do that. Your vegetable magnetism only works on things made out of plants. Don't be a sap. Haven't you ever heard of a rubber tree? Haven't you ever heard of acrophobia? <laughs> That's a fear fight. Grow with the flow, Seymour. Just float like a buttercup, buzz like a bean. You're a veggie magnetical flying machine. Go! Hmm. This is easy as flying off a log. We're dreaming of little pretty puppies, little and grown. It's fun to play with you. Little pretty puppies, wow. babies too. Yay. That beautiful hair that grows for you. Little pretty puppies, glitter and grow. You can comb the pretty hair. Glitter and grow puppies, kitties too. You're the best pet anywhere. Little pretty glitter and grow puppies and kitties, each sold separately. New from Mattel. Twizzlers. Ah, a sea of mouth-watering Twizzlers. Oh, chewy. It tastes so fruity. I love it when it twizzles. Twizzlers makes mouth happy. Oh. <laughs> And now, for Tyson Looney Tunes Meals, Daffy Duck. Thank you. My spaghetti and meatballs. Uh, Sylvester. My fish sticks are stupendous. Weedy. Look, nutritious. Delicious, too. <laughs> Presenting Tyson Looney Tunes Meals for kids. Nutritious meals that taste great. Bugs Bunny. You'll find my meal in your grocer's freezer. And, uh, these other guys, too. Looney Tunes Meals from Tyson. See you like family. family. I thought I was afraid of flying, but I 
I guess I was really afraid of crashing. Junior! Chill out, Sprout. My chisel got rhythm, my root got soul, but most importantly, I'm in control. Ah! He ain't seen nothing yet. I'm flying! I'm really flying! Look, up in the sky! It's a nerd! It's a plane! No, it's... Say, what's wrong with his feet? I'm not just a weenie anymore. I'm a weenie who can fly! I'm a bird, I'm a plane, I'm a flying crane. Flying crane. I would see more than nerd now. Call me Larry the Bird. Larry the Bird. I'm an FTD florist, an RTD bus. I wear PDQ sneakers, leave them in the dust. What an incredible feat, becoming an athlete. Put him in a molding pattern while I make like Ivy and climb. We deliver PDQ. Would you like to stay for the reception? Sorry, gotta fly. We can get married now, honey. Are you kidding? The retread ball's on. Where's that bud brain gone off to now? What incarnation is he doing down there? There he goes, right on target. My veggie magnetism can just take a hike. Won't need that old green magic till it's time to strike. Excuse me, my elevator shoes are worn out. Can I get a lift? No, then get off my lift. No! You drop me off a little closer to the ground? Looks like my blimp has finally come in. Junior, what are you doing? I'm gonna stop the football game. Me and a million downtrodden blades of grass. Yeah, Zeus. Yeah! Land Stadium. Wait! You can't do that, Junior! No! Life just isn't fair. What's wrong, Audrey? Being a shoe salesman has been my sole ambition ever since yesterday. But Mr. Sullivan says I don't have shoes in my blood. You've got them on your feet. Isn't that close enough? I thought selling shoes was in my soul I thought these Oxfords were so cute And no, I tried to toe the line Said that heel gave me the boots I could have made a lot of be happy 
Yes, Audrey? What's wrong with your feet? Feet? Oh, the footwear blimp! <laughs> Where am I? Hey, what's that down on the ground? It's a nerve. It's a low-flying plane. It's... it's... I was right the first time. It's a nerve. Run, 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 But at least I feel fast. Okay, Grant. Let's rise up and show these animals what we're made of. Yo, my boy, it's time for a lesson. Let's show these football players we ain't taking their aggression. They cut you, stomp you, chomp you, and cleat you. But if you all stand up together, they ain't never gonna beat you. Come on, you bunch of blades, we know you're green. Let's show these ruthless wonders what it means to be mean. Uh, I believe that was your cue. Hello? Come on, you bunch of pansies. Get with the program. What are you waiting for? I hope I'm not too late. There's no telling what's gonna happen when, when Junior makes the grass rise up. <sighs> Wait a minute. This isn't grass. Turf. This is professional football, kid. Nobody plays on real grass anymore. What's wrong with your feet? Life just isn't fair. That's a high spiraling kick. It's going up and up and up. Where'd the ball go? Excuse me. Actually. I like baseball much better than football. It's what they call a non-contact sport. Except when Payne is pitching. Direct to! Brace yourself, Crabhorn. Here comes my hardest enamel ball. Come on, Bat. You're made out of wood. Hit that ball like you know you should. Hit, hit, hit the ball! Hit the ball like you should! Go in. Go in. Gone. What do I do now? Make like snap and run. Oops. I got it, I got it. Home. Special on today's menu is fun with Jello Gelatin Jigglers. A to Z, make jigglers for you and me. Just follow the recipe. Accordingly, you'll agree. It's the key. Spells fun for you, spells fun for me. Now A to Z, make jigglers for you and me. My compliments to the shouts. There's always room for J E L L O. I discovered something rather disturbing today. What is it, Belky? I have an accent. 
So what, Belky? Your accent is nothing to be ashamed of. Everyone in America has an accent. Some people have a southern drawl, some have a Midwest twang. New Yorkers sound like New Yorkers. You mean I can still have an accent and be an American? American as apple pie. Really? Yes. What does apple pie sound like? <laughs> The Battle of the Schemers, Monday on Fox. First, has Captain Hook finally found a way to trap the Lost Boys? Find out Monday on Fox's Peter Pan and the Pirates. And on Beetlejuice, the big guy tries his hand at baking. Only you've never seen cookies like these. Find out who takes the cake, Monday on Beetlejuice, right here on Fox. <laughs> Guess what we're doing after school? Babysitting! That's cool! With babysitter Skipper and Courtney. Rock a bye, baby. We'll wrap you up. Launch your bottles. There, they decided. Now that they're sleeping. What do we do? Skipper puts on the music. Roll and we rock a bye too. Babysitter Skipper and Babysitter Courtney doll sold separately. Each comes with a baby doll and all this. From Mattel. Hey, Toucan. Yes? How do you get such a big fruit taste in these little fruit loops? You mean that Mondo Mega Fruit Taste? Mm, yeah. Simple. Big fruit! Mondo Mega Fruit. Yes, you'll love the humongous orange, gigantic lemon, and mammoth cherry flavors of Kellogg's Fruit Loops. Part of this complete breakfast. Wow. Kellogg's Fruit Loops. Big fruit taste from Big Fruit. I'm Captain O.G. Reborn. My motto's tried and true. Read a book today, I bet you'll say, oh, gee, <laughs> I'll be more true. <laughs> We're out to see the wizard <laughs> with lions and tigers and bears. Oh, oh my. Well, what are we waiting for? It's the Wizard of Oz today. Yeah. One kid's new. He's right away. Kids Club. Just for fun, just for you. Take it easy on that board, Freddy. Be careful. You too, Dad. Don't forget to sing a song of seatbelt safety. Huh? Oh, yeah. The seatbelt connected to the frame zone. The lap strap goes across the hip bone. The shoulder strap angles or the chest bone. So here are the words of the law. Those belts, those bones, those seatbelts. For safety's sake, wear seatbelts. I'll properly wear seatbelts and heed the words of the law. Sometimes kids have to remind grown-ups. Yabba dabba buckle up. Cheeseburgers. Cheeseburgers. Rubble, rubble. Thanks. From the days when little toy dinosaurs ruled the earth comes. <laughs> McDonald's McDino Changeables. Eight food toys that turn into dinosaurs. You can collect one with each happy meal you buy. <laughs> the fish aren't biting for a time for my secret bait, Bon. Ready for some fruity pebbles with cherry, orange, and groovy grape flavor. Yeah, but that was delicious. Yeah, but Zappa Jim. It looks like a monster, Brick. It is a monster. <laughs> Wow. Fruity and Cocoa Pebble cereals. They're yabba dabba delicious. Wanna see my dinosaur change color? Takes only 10 seconds. Cool. Five different color changing dinosaurs. One free and specially marked boxes of pebbles. Uh oh, a dirty type baby. Uh oh, I give her a bottle and then baby. Uh oh, needs her diaper changed again. Baby, uh oh, gets her diapers dirty. You rinse them clean with warm water. Oh, clean. Baby, uh oh, I love her so. Look at me, I'm walking. Look at me, I'm walking. She walks all by herself. Walk, walk, wanna walk, a baby wanna walk. Baby wanna walk, the baby doll that crawls and walks. Each sold separately, batteries not included. Trouble? Then you need mousetrap. Mousetrap, I guarantee.
king. It's the craziest trap you'll ever see. The first to capture everyone else's mouse is the winner. Just turn the crank and snap the plank and boot the marble right down the chute. Now watch it roll and hit the pole and knock the ball in the rubber duck tub, which hits the man into the pan. The trap is set. Here comes the man. Ouch! Mouse trap. I guarantee it's the craziest trap you'll ever see. I knew you were a winner. Mouse trap from Milton Bradley.